What if I told you the future of electric cars might not depend on lithium at all? Imagine EV batteries that are cheaper, safer, work better in freezing cold temperatures. And we don't need lithium mining. Sounds impossible, right? Well, Peabody just made it possible. And the entire EV industry is paying attention. Stay with me because in the next few minutes, you'll see exactly how BYD sodium ion battery works, why it could crush lithium ion in some markets, and what this means for the future of electric vehicles. I've put together a free PDF with all performance specs, chemistry breakdowns, and insider formulas that EV engineers use, but never talked about publicly. The link's in the description. Grab it before it's gone. All right, let's dive in. Starting with the big question. Why sodium and why now? Lithium-ion batteries have been the king of EVs for more than a decade, powering Teslas, BYDs, Hyundais, you name it. But there's a catch. Lithium prices are volatile. In fact, just last year, lithium carbonate price spiked over 400%, sending shockwaves through the EV industry. And beyond cost, there's a supply chain issue. Mining is concentrated in a handful of countries, making EV makers vulnerable to geopolitical risks. This is where sodium comes in. Sodium is a thousand times more abundant than lithium. It's everywhere, in seawater, in common minerals, even in your kitchen salt. That abundance changes everything. In late 2023, BYD shocked the world by unveiling the first production, by unveiling their first production-ready sodium ion battery, set to debut the BYD Seagull EV. This wasn't just a lab prototype. This was a commercial product, ready for mass manufacturing. Here's what it makes it special. Chemistry. The BYD sodium ion battery uses a layered oxide cathode and a hard carbon anode. The energy density is around 145 watt hour per kilogram, lower than lithium iron phosphate but high enough for CTEVs. And the cold weather performance, it retains over 90% capacity at minus 20 degrees centigrade compared to LFP's typical 60 to 70%. And safety wise, its non flammable electrolyte means reduced fire risk. Let's put it into the perspective. The BYD Seagull with sodium ion gets around 300 kilometers of range on China's CLTC cycle. That's perfect for urban drivers. And here's the killer feature. Charging 30 to 80% takes just 15 minutes on a DC fast charger. Now you might be thinking, but energy density is lower. Isn't it a problem? Not for the market BYD is targeting. Short-range CT cars, delivery vehicles, and even energy storage systems don't need 500 miles of range. They need cheap, reliable, safe batteries, and sodium delivers exactly that. This isn't just a BYD experiment. Other Chinese giants like CATL and Haina Battery are also developing sodium ion cells. But BYD's vertical integration from mining to battery production to car assembly gives them the unique edge. If BYD scales sodium ion successfully, it could lower EV entry prices. Think of sub $10,000 cars. It can also reduce reliance on lithium imports and dominate emerging markets like India, Southeast Asia, and Africa. Here's where we get nerdy. Sodium ion works like lithium ion, but sodium ions are larger. That means slightly lower voltage and energy density. However, sodium is less reactive, which improves safety and, and allows for more stable cycle life in certain chemistries. The BYD cells use a Prussian white type cathode in early tests, but production models lean towards layered oxide cathodes for higher density. The anode is hard carbon, which can store sodium efficiently without expensive graphite processing. Current estimates put sodium ion cells cost at 40 to 60 dollars per kilowatt hour compared to $100 for LFP just a couple of years ago. That's a huge drop and it opens doors for EV adoption in countries where affordability is everything. Of course, it's not perfect. Sodium ion still lags in energy density for long range EVs. It has problem with global supply chain maturity. It also has problem with charging infrastructure optimization because most chargers are designed for lithium ion profiles. But here's the thing, BYD isn't trying to replace lithium ion completely. They're building a dual chemistry. Sodium for affordable short range cars, lithium for long range premium models. 
If you live in Canada, Norway, or northern China, sodium ion could be a game changer. The chemistry naturally handles low temps better than lithium. Less capacity loss, faster charging in winter, and no expensive battery heating needed. Think beyond EVs. Sodium ion is perfect for stationary energy storage. Imagine wind and solar farms with massive sodium ion battery pack. That's where BYD could dominate not just the EV world, but the entire renewable energy ecosystem. Rumor has it BYD will launch sodium ion variants of multiple models by end of 2025. And if they nail the scale up, it will put huge pressure on the lithium prices and shake the EV supply chain to its core. Now I've gone deep here, but if you want the full technical breakdown, I'm talking about the performance charts or more about the formulas, you can use the link in the description to get the free PDF. BYD sodium ion battery isn't just a chemistry change, it's a strategic shift that could redefine EV affordability and energy storage. Lithium will still dominate long range, but sodium could unlock EVs for hundreds of millions of new drivers.